Greg Royce, and I'm joined here on the Coach's Corner with Stevenson Women's Volleyball and Beach Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. Uh, Coach, um, last week you went 2-1 and one last week, start off with a 3-1 loss to a pretty good Marymount team. Talk a little bit about that match and how that went. Well, that was uh, a little distressing. You know, we were coming off a rough weekend. We wanted to right ourselves, and you know, I got to give a lot of credit to Marymount. They came in here, and that's the best Marymount team I've seen in a long time. And they just pa- outpassed us and outserved us. Uh, they made some mistakes. We made some mistakes, but in the end, they passed us extremely well. We not served tough enough, uh, and um, we've beaten them five or six years in a row. But they were very competitive, and uh, that was a huge, huge win for them. And one that was pretty crushing and we had to rethink some things and get ourselves set and to to move on for the conference matches on the weekend yeah i'm talking about i know we've talked a little bit about just um you know the success your programs had over the last you know decade or so um with that loss to marymount it puts you at five losses in a row which you said you've never done except for maybe one year um how do you get the kids to kind of bounce back from that kind of regain that confidence well, I, I really – we had the saying about uh, smooth waters does not make for a good sailor. <laughs> and so if you don't have any strife or any uh, things that are happening to your team that's going to cause you to search and really think, and sometimes things like this make you better in the end, and that's, where we're, that's what we're heading for. We're not – you know, Marymount's not better than us. Right. We know that. Uh, we didn't play well enough to win. They were on that night. Uh, so we really just forgot all of that and said, let's move forward. In reality, the conference matches is what matters most. And that's what we have to focus on. We're not building a very good resume for our seed in the NCAA tournament if we get that bid. But I do believe we've got some really nice, tough get matches left. We've got number 10 Eastern coming up on Saturday. We've got Stockton, who got to the Sweet 16 last year. And we've got Hopkins that looks like they could win the Centennial. They look very strong this year. So we've got some great matches left to build our resume. And we've got some conference matches coming up that we're really looking forward to. Yeah, talk about conference play. Obviously, Saturday you had a couple of conference wins against Hood and Lycoming. Mm-hmm. Um, just talk about those and bouncing back and getting back in the win column. Well, Hood is always one of those teams that we seem to not do well against. We kind of play down to them. We did not do that Saturday. Uh, there was a sense of urgency. They, you know, the, the leadership on our team, they didn't care who was on the other side of the net. They were going to play. And uh, it, se- it seemed like against Hood, doesn't matter who I put on the court, uh, they responded. I mean, Annika hit over 800. Uh, she only took 11 swings and 10 of them went down. You know, so we were pretty fired up on Saturday for a game against Hood that, you know, typically is not um, one of our strongest opponents. Uh, but we took them very seriously on Saturday. Um, you touched a little bit, but uh, looking ahead to this week, um Pretty tough week. You open up tomorrow night with a uh, conference match against Arcadia. Um, then you have Golly, Golly Dad on Thursday, who's been the NCAAs. And then Saturday you have the the Matt crossover, and you have number 10 Eastern as well as the sales here. And so another one of those tough weeks um, that we've talked about and just talk about, you know, getting well, prepared for that. Well, after that hood match on Saturday, then we play Lycoming. And Lycoming is typically pretty strong. They're usually fourth or fifth. And we hit 420, and they hit negative 013. So uh, we're sending a message. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm sure everybody's reading the box. Goes, oh, Stevenson struggling. Look at this. Well, no. Uh, so we've got Arcadia on Tuesday. Um, that we're really looking forward to. Gallaudet, who usually wins their conference and uh, is an NCAA team. So that's why we like to get them on the schedule. And thank goodness we have Eastern. We're really looking forward to playing Eastern because I really do think we have saw them play a couple times uh, the weekend of the 16th and 17th at, at, at F&M. Uh, and um, they've got a freshman setter. Uh, it's our last shot at the crossover to beat them in our gym at 10 o'clock. So we're, we're, we're looking forward to that. Uh, and DeSales is also a very formidable opponent, and we get them at 4 o'clock. Um, so there's only one way to climb in the uh, top 25 is beat people in front of you. Yeah. And if you don't beat people, you're not going to go anywhere, and you're not going to be pushed. And uh, to a girl, I said, well, listen, I haven't started scheduling for next year. Wasn't this a little bit too tough? And they all said, no, coach. 
we want to play these kind of games. How are we going to get better? What are we going to do when we get to, if we get to the NCAA's and we have to face this kind of competition? So they want this kind of competition. The game matches have not gone the way we wanted, but at the same time, um, if you would have seen the team on Saturday, it's just like, yeah, I know this. You know, we can do. <laughs> we we are. We, you know, they they realize that they've la- learned a lot from uh, this, the the past week and a half that was has been difficult. All right, um, come on out to Owens Mills Gymnasium, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, all day. Four great matches for the Stevenson Women's Volleyball Team. We're on Coach's Corner, I'm Greg Royce with Dave Trumbo. Coach, thanks for your time. You're welcome. And those games are free.